Hi, this is Almir at Worst with Cape Town Emergency Medicine. Here today to show you removal of an intercostal drain. This instructional video builds on a previous video showing insertion of an intercostal drain. Please view that video before this. For purposes of demonstration, I will not be wearing gloves in this procedure as it sticks to the plaster we are using, but please keep in mind that when doing this on a real patient, full universal precaution should be observed. Here we have our chest drain sutured to the chest and lightly dressed, connected to our drainage system, as shown in the previous video. Removing the chest drain is relatively simple. First, remove the dressing, and remove the gauze around the wound. Inspect the wound, and clean it thoroughly before removal of the tube. Explain to the patient what's going to be happening, and give him chest drain removal instructions. Those instructions should be that at your command, the patient should exhale forcibly against the thumb or a part of the hand and not inhale or stop that exhalation before the tube is out. If you have used the vertical mattress pulley suture technique, you will now have two strings of that suture riding up from the wound up to the anchor suture. Simply cut them off. Feed the suture back through the loop that was created with your initial vertical mattress and remove it out. You can make the first throw of your tie at this time. Instruct the patient to forcibly exhale against his hand and remove the tube in a single movement from the chest cavity. Pull the sutures tight and complete your suture. Trim the edges neatly and dress the wound lightly. Instruct the patient to breathe normally and proceed with standard post-chest drain removal care. Thank you very much.